It's Monday, September 21st, and we're going to be sharing out of Galatians 6, um, verse 2 through 5. And I'm going to read that real quick. Um, I'm reading out of King James Version. It says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. You know, when I've read that all these years, it seems so weird because in verse 2 it says, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. And then in verse 5 it says, For every man shall bear his own burden. And so as I was really thinking about that today, just um, you know, meditating on it, asking the Holy Spirit what he was saying, uh, I looked up that second burden in verse 5, and it actually means um, invoice. Every man's got his own invoice. And so just the very thought that I, I get this picture of, we both, you and I as believers, we have a work to do for the Lord. We have a calling. We have a set out um, course of action that the Lord wants us to finish and fulfill and complete. And so we're just going to say, you're on this side doing your job for him. I'm on this side doing my job for him. Um, and I look over and I see that maybe you've got something really heavy to carry. Like part of your job is a really heavy weight. And um, it's more actually than you can bear that, that you need some help lifting that. And so I, I think, okay, you know what? I'm going to go over here and help you carry that heavy weight. So I quit what I'm doing and I come over here and I start helping you carry that heavy weight. And so when we finish carrying that weight, I just decided, you know what, I'm, I'm done. I helped him carry his weight. I will do mine. I don't know if we'll ever get to mine. And what the Lord's saying, no, to fulfill the law of Christ, you should go over and help your brother carry their heavy weight. But that doesn't mean you're through and you don't need to finish what task he's given you to do. And so as you're helping your brother, when he lays it down, when you are finished carrying it together, then you go back to yours and you complete your task. It doesn't mean that um, just because you helped him, then you're finished and there's nothing else for you to do. Um, we should help our brother carry their weight and carry their load when it's too heavy to carry. But it doesn't negate the very fact that God has called me to do something over here and I need to go back to my task and I need to finish the very task that God has given me to complete and to finish. Um, so that's why we should help each other carry each other's weight, but our own burden is our own burden um, to carry. We need to fulfill that goal and that um, just that task that the Lord has called us to do. I think it's so easy to, to take off in a direction that we think God has us going and it's so easy to veer off and start well I'll go over here and do this and help him and I'll do this and help him and then we never do the very thing that God has called us to do it makes me think of building the wall in the Old Testament how they were busy building the wall and somebody would say come out come down from there and do this and do that and they're like no we can't stop doing what the Lord has called us to do so there's a time that we that we do um, help our brother and aid our brother with his heavy load, but it doesn't keep us from um, going back and finishing what the Lord has called us to do. So if you've been on a path, if God has called you on a path and somehow you've detoured, um, even for good cause, you've detoured and you thought, well, you know what? I just, I'm not even going to go back over there and finish that anymore. I feel like the Lord is telling you today, no, get up, go back to that thing that I've asked you to do and complete it. You've done great helping your brother, but now it's time to go back to what God has called you to do and finish that task. All right, y'all have a great evening. See ya.